Hey guys. I am back from my short little Michigan trip. And uh, I'm just going to start on a piece that's going to be a couple parts. Um, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to put a clear coat of resin on this. Uh, I am using quick coat because I want to work some more on it tonight. So it's just going to be a clear coat with some uh, holographic glitter. Real fine glitter and then I got some little holographic button chunky glitter. So I've already put the hardener in here. Um, as soon as it touches each other, it starts. So from that point, I only have like 15 minutes. Hopefully I won't need that long because I'm just doing just a coat. And it will also help seal the wood too. Um, I already put two coats of polyacrylic on it. Polyacrylic on it. And... A coat of gesso and then I sprayed it with um, Pearl Mod Podge. I don't know if you guys have seen it yet, but I saw it and had to have it. It's in this can. Mod, po Mod Podge Pearlized Glaze and Sealer. So it's like a white pearl. I don't know if you can see it. Got a little bit of pearly shimmer. Okay, so I've got three ounces of resin. It is a one to one. This is the stone coat quick coat, like I said. You got about 15 minute work time. And then it starts smoking and all that crap. So, let me get my mask on before I start mixing this stuff up. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but hopefully I'm not too mumbled. So I'm going to stir this for about three minutes. See how it's all cloudy? You got to stir it until it's completely clear again. So, I'm going to pause you for a second while I get this stirred up, so you don't have to watch me for three minutes stir. Hang on. Okay. I'm back. It's uh, stirred up pretty good. It is clear, but you might not see how clear it is, but it's got a lot of bubbles in it right now. But you can see the stick through it. So I'm going to add some glitter. Again, sorry if I'm muffled, but I am. I do have a mask on. A lot of people don't use them, and I guess it's your, damn it, it's your choice, but the way I see it is I got enough problems, I don't need to add another one, or exacerbate the one I got. So 
So now this is going to be like a base coat. This is the real fine glitter. So I'll mix it slow so I don't get a unicorn fart up in my face. Now the quick coat one is not food safe like the countertop one. So if you're going to use quick coat on anything that's going to be used near or with food, then you'll want to flood coat it with the countertop resin. See how that turns it kind of like a grayish. So that's enough of that glitter. I'm just going to put a few little bit of the chunks in it because I want it to sparkle all right let's get this dumped on This is going to be a couple part video because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it, but I got an idea and I'm hoping it turns out. So I'm going to heat this up just a little bit so it's easier to move. Plug your ears. And this is what I'm talking about, you know, any resin can say no VOCs or low VOCs, <clears throat> but once you add like glitter or pigment or, you know, an ink or something and then heat it up and add heat, it changes the whole uh, chemistry of it. So what used to be no or low VOCs could possibly have some. Like I said, I'm no scientist, I'm not a chemist, I don't know this stuff for sure, but it makes sense that when you heat a chemical up, it probably releases some toxins that wouldn't normally release. So in my case, I like to tell everybody to please be safe because we you know you got loved ones out there that want to keep you around and I'm not saying that you're gonna die from it if you don't and I'm not saying you're not gonna die from it all I'm saying is take all the necessary precautions that can keep you safe there's no reason not to you know I mean really there is no reason you don't lose anything. It doesn't take away from your art and what it looks like. So, why not be safe? In the hospital, they use what they call universal precautions. So why not in art, you know? You treat everybody like they've got, you know, you protect yourself as if your patients have something contagious that might get you sick. So as long as you're protected, you don't have to worry about it. Same with art and these chemicals and toxins and paints and glues and epoxies and all that stuff. Just take universal precautions. 
treat every chemical that you're using as if it's harmful. And then your butt's covered either way. Okay. That's enough harping. It's enough momming. It's up to you. Um, all right, so I'm just coating the sides real good right now. Um, going to get the bubbles out now. I don't know if you guys could see that, but see how it cleared up as soon as I hit it with a heat gun? Because it looks foggy because of the bubbles. So, hit it with a heat gun and it's all cleared up. Make sure the sides are covered one more time. And then I'm going to stop the video, wait for it to cure. And then I will be back. So yeah. So this is just a base coat for what I got planned in the future here with it. Uh, so thanks for watching. And I'll be back in about a half hour. But to you. It is a. Uh, only going to be like two seconds. Quick torch, get rid of the rest of the bubbles that just came to the surface. All right, so see you soon. Actually, I'll give you a little close-up. It's just holographic. Just pretty glimmery stuff. No big deal. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Hey, guys. Okay, this has cured uh, with the quick coat on it. And then I put some stencils here on it. And then I'm going, I um, sealed the stencils in with some Mod Podge spray. And then I'm going to do a tree over here. I'm not figured out how I was going to do it yet, but I'll get to that when I get to that. So, uh, I will, uh, going to let this, um, cure tomorrow or overnight so that it's good and sealed. And then uh, I'll get back to it again tomorrow. All right. See you in a few minutes. Hey guys, I am back. Uh, this is just going to be a short part here. I am. I uh, was going to sculpt some epoxy sculpt and make like a tree on this. But instead, a couple days ago, I saw uh, Monica Barnes art and she did a tree with um with hot glue with her hot glue gun and then put gold leaf on it 
So I'm gonna try that in here because it looked super cool. So you need to go, if you're not already subscribed to Monica Barnes, uh, go find her on YouTube. It's under Monica Barnes Art. She's pretty amazing. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a tree in, uh, uh. don't you just love the glue gun strings? Uh. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a tree in a glue gun. So I'm just gonna like start out. I'm not gonna have you guys watch it all, but just gonna start out and then I'll finish it and then bring you back. For the other now um i tested it out and for some reason the gold leaf which i'm actually going to do blue leaf <laughs> it's not really gold or silver leaf but it's in a color so i'm going to do the blue with this and um for some reason this particular stuff was sticking to the resin and I just want it to stick to the glue gun part but it was also sticking to the sides too so I put a coat of Mod Podge spray sealer on it and I thought maybe that would help it you know not stick um, but it didn't so then I sanded it down so it's um as you can see this part here is still shiny where this part here is dull because I sanded it down and I just tested it out and the leaf is not sticking to it anymore so that's good so once I get the tree on and stuff I'm gonna do a flood coat of resin and then this will bring the shine back on this side so I'm just gonna do a couple here with you um, my little thing says our family is like branches of a tree we may grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one. So I thought it'd be cool to just put like a little tree here. And, uh, all right, so let's get started. I don't have gloves on. I don't have a mask on because I'm just dealing with hot glue right now. Um, I'm going to start right here. Oh, a little bit thin there. I really need a better glue gun, but this is the only one I have right now. So here's the beginning of the trunk. And we'll take a leaf. Or, I'm sorry, a branch that way. Reload the clip. <laughs> that was my reload sound. I don't know if you guys can even really see what I'm doing. I was actually thinking about so that you could see what I'm doing about taking these glue sticks and soaking them in like an ink and seeing if it would stain them so that they were colored I'm sure they have colored sticks out there but I don't know but as you can see just the starting of a of a tree here and I'm just gonna keep the branches going hate these things. Um, and I'm going to come up this side. And 
then just kind of make this tree. So instead of you guys watching me, this is probably going to take a while. So, but as you can see, I'm just making branches of a tree here. And uh, I will be back shortly. Ouch! Tripped over my glue gun. I'll be back shortly when the tree's done and I will do the leafing with you. So see, you can see the the glue a bit. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Hi guys, I am back. I have gotten my tree all done with the glue gun. And everything is cool. Can you see it? So, I am going to lay the leafing down. I decided to do um, blue. I tried to get all of the little glue gun strings out. <clears throat> so yeah, I decided to do the blue leafing. So I'm going to start on the trunk and I'm hoping that it's not going to stick anywhere except for the trunk. I'm going to lay that there. Whoops. This stuff is so brittle. Lay that there. We'll pat it down. I got it all patted down. Now we're going to try to get it off. And see what it looks like. And these little pieces you can actually put like in a jar and save them if you're doing a small piece. All right, let's see if I can get it to release everywhere except I put the glue. Let me see. I'm going to do this over the garbage right here. Of 
course, I'm going to have to clean it up a bit. But once I get it cleaned up, then it should be looking okay. These little pieces here, I always have to clear up with some alcohol or something. Alright, I'll do a couple more with you. And then I'll shut you off and come back when it's done. And after I've gotten it cleaned up a bit. Kind of trying to just press it on the glue part. Oops. I don't know if you've ever worked with a gold leaf or anything, but this stuff is super brittle and super fly away. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to continue to do this. And uh, I will come back once I got it all done. Let me just do this over the garbage real quick. Some of the stuff that I'm trying to brush off is sticking to the other parts of the glue. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll come back after I have it all done and cleaned up. See how there's some stuck in the middle? That'll clean up good with, I just got to get like a stiffer brush, I think. But yeah, we'll be back uh, shortly. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I finished putting the leafing on the glue gun. Or on the glue from the glue gun. I made a tree here. Um, I, it didn't come off as easy as, uh, Monica's did on Monica Barnes Art. Um, for some reason, the leafing was sticking to the other, like, the parts that isn't supposed to, that didn't have the glue on it. So... I had to use my air gun and kind of blow it off and then take some tape like little pieces yeah, where are it? little pieces of tape and just kind of like you know pull them off like this so yeah I went in between all the branches I'm gonna have to figure out why 
it happened. It might be because I used, um, I didn't use actual gold leaf. It, it's colored, like I got purple ones and all that stuff. It's, uh, so some off-brand leafing. But I'll go in close here. So um, I didn't want to put resin over it right away because little pieces could still come off. So I took some spray Mod Podge and I'm just going to seal in, or I already did, just seal in the leafing so that when I pour the um, resin over it, it's not going to like let those little pieces float, you know, kind of like glitter would like float around. So yeah, so I really do like the way it looks. Uh, it just took a lot of a lot of time and a lot of patience, but I'm gonna find out from Monica what she did to make it come off so easy. I did do it before on an acrylic pour, which let me take you over here. I can show you, and it looked. Pretty cool. I did all these different color leafings. And this is on an acrylic. It's actually an embellished, uh, I believe it was in my video um, that was a bottle bottom pour turned dirty pour, I think. I ended up with this. So I embellished it a little bit with different color leafing. Now I put this, I put the uh, glue from the glue gun, the hot glue, on these, then the leafing, and it just came off like a dream. I mean, it did not stick at all to the parts that weren't. So I put like little glue gun dots. Uh, yeah, so it, uh, they look like beads, but they're not, it's actually actually glue <laughs> so I mean that one turned out really good and the leafing came off it like a dream so something must have gone awry but I'm gonna keep uh, playing with it and see so as soon as this is dry then I'll come back and I'll do the uh, flood coat with you guys all right so I'll be back in a little bit again See ya. Sorry about that. Hey guys. I'm back. Okay, my sealer coat on it has dried. And uh, let me fix this here. And um, I am getting ready to do a flood coat of resin on it here. I am using stone coat, quick coat, so it will cure, well it will start to cure in about 15 minutes if you leave it in uh, You leave it in a big cup put together or like all together it will probably only last um like 10 minutes <laughs> but you stir it until it's all <clears throat> till it's all clear again and then uh it's equal parts part a and part b and then you stir it together until it's crystal clear. And then you can pour it. Uh, hang on one second here. I'm getting my mask on. My respirator mask. Okay.
hopefully I don't sound too muffled. But like I said in my last video, or it might have been the beginning of this one, I don't know. Um, all resin. I don't care whether it says low VOCs, high VOCs, odor, whatever. It has the potential to harm you. So you want to protect yourself as best as you can all right so there's bubbles in this but as you can see it is crystal clear you want to scrape your stick in case any of the unmixed is off your stick see there's a little resin bubble I don't know if you guys just seen that but it flew out you don't want to breathe that shit in some resins this one does it I know Pro Marine does it. I haven't had a problem with little resin bubbles coming up with the stone coat countertop, but the quick coat does it. So yeah, just be safe. All right. So, it's already coated, so I'm just going to pour it on here over the whole thing. And this is just clear. I didn't put any glitter or anything in it because the glitter is like on the bottom. So you just want to get all your resin out because the shit's expensive. Do not want to waste not even a drop. All right. So it's a little bit thick but that's okay I'm just getting it all over the board yep guess I don't want to rub too hard because I just lifted a little bit of the uh, leafing let me give this a heat up Heat it up a bit. Heating it up will let it move a little bit easier. I'll get it all up to the branches and then I'll use a stick to scoot it into the branches just so that I don't scrape the uh, leafing off.
technically it shouldn't be coming off because I did put a sealer coat on it. So I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully I mixed up enough. Mm, guess I should have put two sealer coats on it. Man, I hope my leafing don't come up. And resin is self-leveling. So you can like take from areas in like that big gap there that I just scraped. Uh, we'll go ahead and correct itself. Hope I uh, made enough. Do no. It's quick coat too, so I'm probably pushing my time limit here. I'm gonna start smoking here soon. Another reason I wear a mask. Damn it, I'm going to have to put another coat on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. And it's starting to get thick on me. I'm 
nose is itching. Oh, I scraped it. Damn it. So hard to see where I'm missing stuff. Edges. I heat it up a bit. Get the bubbles out. Now with quick coat when you heat it up, it speeds up the curing time also. So I'm probably going to need another coat on this. Because I'm not. Getting it all in the edges. In all of the tree branches. I guess I should say. Not edges. I'm going to lift it up into the light. See if I missed anywhere. I did. Code your hair. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach.
I'll put some more heat on it. You're probably seeing the smoke coming off it now because it's starting to cure. A lot of people that haven't used quick coat start to freak out right about now. Like, I don't know if you can see the I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is some smoke coming off of it. Just babysitting these edges here. The quick coat gets really hot. I mean, if I was to leave some in this cup, this cup would be like melted right now and just smoking. So my concern is hopefully it doesn't get too hot to uh, melt my glue that I made the tree with. <laughs> that would suck. So, all right, well, looks like everything is covered. I'm going to grab my other light here just to go over it real quick. Make sure there's no hair or missing areas like this one. See how thick it is now? It's real stringy. Pretty soon I won't be able to mess with it no more. Because it is setting up. Just doing a little inspection here. Yep, there's a whole corner here missing. Hope nobody's counting how many times I say damn it. When I was in Michigan visiting my mom, she was like, honey, do you know that you cuss on your videos? I'm like, well, I haven't dropped the F-bomb or anything, but it's kind of me, I mean, for what? 25 years I was a dispatcher for a trucking company so uh, I mean I hope I don't offend anybody but I'm not I'm really really restraining myself because I'm usually a f-bomb dropper <laughs> <coughs> so all right, I think I got it in all the areas. If not, I'll just have to do another coat. No, nope, I missed a spot. Now in these spots that I'm touching up, I'm going to have to add some more heat to it. So it, once it starts curing like that, you could actually get... Um, if you mess with it too much, you could actually get a, like a, a fish eye or a 
before where you moved it, it was just, you could tell. So once it starts, like I said, the resin is self-leveling, but once it starts to cure, I could totally make a line in it and it would stay there. So I'm just gonna pop some bubbles here. Don't really wanna add too much heat to it. So I'm using my torch instead of the heat gun. I'm not sure if I'm going to be done with it or if I'm going to have to do another coat. I won't know that until it dries. And then I think I have some Swarovski or however you say it, crystals, the Swarovski crystals coming in the mail because I'm out of them. I may put a crystal on the end of the branches. I'm not sure yet depending on how this dries and how much money I got to put into it. If I got to put another coat on it, probably going to skip the crystals. Because for each coat, you know, it's, it's a lot of money to make these things. So, uh, yeah, let me take you guys in on a close up here. Actually, let me turn this your way. Grab my rag here. All right. So, yeah. Whoops, hang on. Let me get my phone out of my tripod before I make you guys all throw up. Hang on. Okay. So... This is the blue leaf. So there you have it guys. Thank you for watching my video. I know it's kind of long but I really did shorten it up because I it took way longer to make it. <laughs> um, thank you very much and uh, please like and subscribe. And if you're ever interested in purchasing any of my uh, projects that I do online, you can just contact me or uh, some of them are in my Etsy shop. I don't have my new ones up there yet. Uh, just contact me and let me know that you're interested. And uh, go check out Monica Barnes. That's where I got this uh, tree idea from. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.